Hi, my name is Sabrina Han, and this is my career field research presentation. There were nine jobs that I looked at that were of interest to me. One is a registered nurse, which is what I currently am, a physician's assistant, physical therapist, sonographer, health educator, recreational therapist, radiologic technologist, horse trainer, and photographer. Nursing is what I will start with. I'm currently here at Winona State for the RN to be a Senate completion program. Nurses typically give patients medications and treatments. Um, they also do assessments and are the link between the physicians and the patients. They work closely with other healthcare professionals such as pharmacy and therapies. Um, nurses must be proficient in using and monitoring medical equipment such as IVs, PICs, vital sign machines, uh, blood sugar machines, called glucometers. Um, nurses must also be able to teach patients about their own care and teach their families if the patients plan to discharge to home. Um, a registered nurse has a minimum requirement of an associate's degree and there are state boards that have to be taken for the respective state in which the nurse lives. Um, many hospitals are now starting to require a bachelor's degree such as the Mayo Clinic requires a bachelor's degree within six years of your hire date. Um, nursing can be physically demanding. There's a lot of helping to transfer and reposition, as well as bending and having to get in awkward positions to change dressings on patients or to help put shoes on for patients or head hose. Um, nurses most often work in hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, or home health and public health positions. Um, nursing is a job that is a social job where you work closely with people. Nurses must have a good understanding of anatomy, physiology, microbiology, chemistry, psychology, and behavioral studies. Um, there's different areas in nursing, so usually there's an area for everyone so, so someone can find something that they truly enjoy. Um, clinics usually do not require weekends or holidays. Nursing homes are usually every other weekend, every other holiday. Um, hospitals, again, some have every other weekend, every other holiday rotations. Others have every third weekend or something along that. Like the average wage for a nurse in 2010 was $64,690. Um, the projected increase in employment for nurses from 2010 to 2020 is 26%. It is one of the faster growing occupations. The next career that I looked at was physician's assistant, and a physician's assistant is another healthcare career. Um, a physician's assistants work directly underneath a physicians and surgeons. Um, they do a lot of the same things as physicians and surgeons, just with the supervision of physicians and surgeons. Um, they do physical examinations, they order and interpret diagnostic tests, such as blood work, um, they make diagnoses, treat ailments, prescribe medications, um, a lot of standing and sitting involved with this job, again, a social job as well as an investigative job where it's kind of piecing together the puzzle some hands-on, college required is a bachelor's degree, and then a three-year specialization program 
with a nine to month to three year uh, clinical type rotation. Um, the average salary was $86,410. Um, the employment for physician's assistants is expected to increase by 30%. Um, there's also many job openings for physician's assistants. Um, the next career I looked at was physical therapists. Physical therapists uh, work closely with patients to diagnose physical problems that they're having after accidents or surgeries. Um, they set up plans and goals and treatment plans with the, uh, the patients. And they use exercises, stretching maneuvers, and hands-on therapy. Um, usually a doctorate degree is required, and these doctorate programs typically last three years. Um, again, a nine-month to three-year uh, residency. Uh, the, again, involves a lot of uh, critical thinking, um, a social career, dealing with people. The average salary is $76,310. Um, the expected growth for physical therapists is 39% for the job rate. Um, the next career I looked at was a medical sonographer or an uh, a, uh, ultrasound tech, excuse me. Um, ultrasound techs or sonographers are responsible for preparing patients for procedures, answering any questions they might have. They also must get images of the different areas of the patient that they need and measurements and such things. Um, sonographers have to do a lot of standing. There's a lot of repetitive movement. Um, they need to have the investigative critical thinking aspect as well as the social for working with people. Um, a sonographer must have a associate's degree. They also work in hospitals or clinic type settings. The average salary for a sonographer is 64380 And the projected growth for sonographers is 44%. Another job I looked at was health educator. Um, again, a healthcare based profession. Health educators assess the needs of people and then develop programs and events regarding different health topics such as uh, diabetes or obesity. They make posters and pamphlets to hand out and other educational material. A health educator usually requires a bachelor's degree. Um, they have different like social work, environmental health, genetic counseling areas of study. They must have the social um, the social bit to be able to work with people. They also need to have the enterprising to be able to start up and carry out projects. Um, there is a certification involved for a health educator. The average salary is $45,830. Um, the next career I looked at was recreational therapy. Recreational therapists work with patients and clients to observe them and to create treatment programs and plans to be help uh, clients become more independent. Uh, recreational therapist requires a bachelor's degree. Recreational therapists are often seen in nursing homes. Um, they require again the social working with people aspect as well as artistic so they can think outside the box and 
think of new and different um, ideas. Uh, a clinical rotation again is involved with a recreational therapist and um, the average salary was $39,410. The growth rate is expected to be 17%. Um, the next job I looked at was a radiologic technologist or an x-ray tech. Um, they do different x-rays of different parts of the body. They must be familiar with anatomy and physiology. They often work in hospital or clinic type settings. Um, work with educating people. The employers prefer to hire people that have had formal training in radiography. The average salary was $54,340. Um, the projected growth rate was 28%. Um, a non-healthcare job that I was interested in is horse training. Um, horse training can be a dangerous job. There's usually no benefits. One's usually self-employed. There are bachelor's and associate's degrees in um, equine science, which cover things such as horse training and horse breeding. Um, however, a person can train horses without formal education. And it's a job where you're often out in the elements. Um, one website stated that the average salary for a trainer was 26580 while another website stated that the average uh, salary for a horse trainer was $68,496. Horse training is something that happens almost seven days a week, and there's a constant threat of injury as well as long hours. Horses don't take vacations um, and need to be taken care of daily. The projected job growth for horse trainers is 23%, which is, again, above the average. The last career I decided to look at was photography. Photography is something that's always been interesting to me. Um, the photographer must know how to use many different types of equipment, shutter speeds, uh, computers, and computer programs. They have all different types of uh, weather conditions that they can work in. They must have, again, a customer service type um, personality that can deal with the people as well as being creative and imaginative. Many photographers are self-employed. The average salary of the photographer is $29,130. The protect Projected growth for photographers is 13%, which is about average for all odd jobs. Um, most photographers work just by themselves and don't have any employees underneath them. Um, all of these careers were social and dealt with people. Um, many of them were investigative, such as the healthcare careers. Um, they all involved standing and sitting for long periods of time. Um, all the healthcare careers either involved being in a hospital or clinic type setting. Um, also, many required advanced degrees, um, except for the horse training and photography. And they all appeared to have promising growth in their career fields. Thank you for watching my presentation.